Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm doing this video today. This is gonna be an unprofessional version. This is just gonna be me walking you through my barn cave, man cave, office, whatever you wanna call it. This is separate from my house. We finished this earlier this year. It took about 18 months to build because it was during COVID. Things were expensive, supply chains were screwed up, all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you a sneak peek into this place. Actually, probably go into a little bit more detail. Maybe that you want to, I'm not sure yet. Um, and then later, I'm gonna have a really nice professional video done of pretty much the same thing, except someone that knows how to edit and add music and all that good stuff. So today, we're not gonna get any of that. I'm just trying to meet a little bit of a need because I get asked this all the time to give a tour in my barn cave, especially on my Instagram following, which is where most of you um, probably are watching some of this. Hopefully you're coming over to YouTube. Anyway, so this is a 36 by 60 foot uh, man cave barn garage. Um, again, I don't even know what to call it. Um, behind me, and I'm gonna get out of the way because you probably wanna see this more than you wanna see me. Um, let me back up even more here. So you can see this is quite large. Um, this was actually gonna start as a metal frame building and then we decided that, my wife and I, that this is where we were gonna permanently put this. So we decided to step it up and go all out. It, it was uh, originally probably a fraction of the budget compared to what we actually spent. So anyway, um, it's all wood frame construction. We got drywall on the inside. You can see I am a big fan of really cool wood. So my garage, the way I planned this out was the concrete floors were gonna remain. These are actually epoxy coated, um, except all we did was add a little bit of color so it still looked like regular concrete and then we put a clear coat on top just to seal it. So that's that. We've got a 812 pitch roof with a big ass fan, you can see that. We've got all the industrial lights, which I'll get that in, into more of that later on. And then you see these um, black hanging objects, those are speakers. And those actually tie into a mainframe system, which also the lights, the blinds, everything else does as well. Um, there's, a, there's a computer back in that storage closet that controls all of that. So pretty cool. Um, I'll get into that in a minute. Garage doors. Uh, eight feet tall, 16 feet wide, both custom built. They're insulated. They got the big windows. I love it. The tracks were actually uh, custom designed. I saw this on another build somewhere else and I loved it um, because what I'm trying to get at here is when you walk into this garage, whether it's from this front door, cool Dutch door by the way, um, I want you to walk in and I want your eyes first to start here, see the cars, the concrete's a blank canvas, and then I want the eyes to go up because that is just so cool. Um, so that's why we did the tracks on the doors like you're seeing, so that when the doors are up, which actually, let's go ahead and put them up. By the way, these are all controlled on Wi-Fi too. But what you'll see is, so pretend we're entering the barn garage. Here we go, we're coming in, boom, wow. Dang, so that's kind of the effect that I was thinking of in my head and I think it worked pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and close those. By the way, only two of my cars are in here. This layout actually has room for nine cars without lifts. Um, eight, very comfortably. Nine's a little bit of a squeeze with the little speedster, it's a little bit better. Um, anyway, that's that. Superformance GT40, that's actually a Beck speedster. Uh, that's my wife's. And we'll go into the cars a lot more later. So as you can see, I got a bunch of artwork on the walls. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Those are all, everything in here is of a car that I own or have owned, except for that one. That's a new Ford GT, maybe one day. But all of these are um, original. We got the, we got the Tail of the Dragon walls. We got um, original hand-drawn pieces of art here. We have the rendering. That's the wall for the Mill One car that's not here at the moment. More on that later. Um, so that's kind of the open space. Now, as we get into the interesting, very interesting space of the garage, you'll notice these wood beams here, 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 and then these stringers here. There we go. Um, I am a commercial real estate developer. We had an old mill project up in downtown Mooresville, North Carolina called Mill One. And this old mill, we repurposed a lot of the wood into the building and we had a ton left over. So this is all 
1800s Millwood, and it's all from this huge catalyst project that we built for this downtown that set off a huge amount of revitalization, which is really cool. So I get to have a piece of that history right here in my barn garage. It reminds me of the project and everything great that we're doing down there. So pretty cool. You'll notice that this wood actually has paint, existing paint on it. Same here. This is all original. I didn't want to grind it down. I didn't want to do anything with it. I wanted to keep that same look and feel. And I was kind of going for like a modernized barn meets mill feel in here, which I think we accomplished pretty well. I'm really excited about it. Um, as we go kind of big picture in here, this is actually one of the most important rooms in this entire place. This is a theater room. There is actually surround sound built in to this whole room. And yes, we've done the Top Gun test. It sounds absolutely amazing. And every single seat in here has one of these remotes. You can recline them, you can do massaging, you can do heat, all that stuff. Here we go. So as you can see, this has the boys pretty excited. This will go all the way back. Actually, the girls and the kids come out here too, so it's everybody. Um, so this was intended as like a theater room, come out, watch movies, hang out, drink some beers, old fashions, really. That's my thing. As you can see, there's a Blanton's uh, barrel here. Um, power throughout. Yeah, let me turn this massaging seat off. There we go. Um, big TV, 75 inch. We got a dresser here. This has old school. It's got, I don't know, it's got, I don't even think I hooked them up yet. We got like video game stuff. And uh, speaking of video games, I know I'm kind of going through this. Sorry, I didn't plan this video out. Um, this is a really cool arcade system. We are playing, my, my six-year-old now we're playing Super Smash Brothers. So there's that. If I go back out, this thing actually has 17,000 games built into it. So here we go. I better not get kicked off uh, YouTube. So I'm gonna turn that off, but you can see it's got all these different um, systems, arcade classics. Here's the ones we've played, here's our favorites. And then we have all games and you can just see that it just goes literally forever. A's, A's, B's. So anyway, thought you'd like to see that. That's, that's a pretty cool addition, uh, especially for all the kids that come over with my son and daughter. They love hanging out and playing that. So here we get a little different perspective, pulling you out uh, right here. There we go. And then what I wanted was I wanted a hangout area and then I also wanted like a bar area. So decided to make a gaming table. Gaming table, hang out, eat pizza on Friday nights, all that stuff. So what's really cool about this is this wood and these stairs, which I'll show you as we go up, are all from a tree that the city forced us to take down next to that mill project at the end of our project. This big, beautiful oak tree. I hated that we had to tear it down. So you know what I did? I slabbed it. I slabbed the whole thing. We made this table out of that tree. We made those stairs out of that tree. I think it turned out awesome. Uh, bar stools, you can see, it's just a really cool hangout spot. This is actually a modern fridge that's made to look classic. I love this thing. Get a lot of compliments on it when people come over. Um, just really cool retro design, kind of fits, fits the whole space. Next to that, we've got my license plate wall. These are all off cars that I have owned in the past. This was off my purple Lamborghini Performante. Uh, no bad days. That was uh, a to Toyota Tacoma and a Porsche. I turned it back in and then got it again on a Porsche 993. Uh, Stark V8, that was my first R8 I ever owned back in California. Uh, these were actually saved by my mom from the 1990s and for my 40th birthday, she surprised me with those. So those are very special. Those were on my dad's cars and he passed away a few years ago. So very special. Uh, Venom, v -tenum, that was on a uh, 2006 Dodge Viper that I owned. Yes, 06. Um, so I thought Venom, Snake, it was black, it was really cool. Uh, anyway, so that's those. Here are my doors. These are real wood. They're gorgeous on the outside. They are stained beautifully with a little bit of tint and color in the windows there. Um, I love these doors, they're really heavy. And all the locking mechanisms are actually controlled via Wi-Fi or by a security pad on the outside. So there's that. Uh, before we get to that thing, I'm gonna take you into the bathroom. And actually, this is one of the first things that kind of sparked me to just go all out with this design. So. I didn't do a shower or anything. I didn't really need it, but 
Okay, let me tell you, let me show you this. Here we go. Let's see how far back I can get. This was kind of one of the first things I actually picked out for this whole barn cave. Um, very cool wallpaper, just all old, uh, crushed up junkyard race cars. Just love it. This is so cool. Obviously I got my Lama uh, little picture frame there. There's my Viper, again, hand-drawn. Very cool, but now you can see this is V-Tenum. Uh, he did not put the V-Tenum plate on there in the drawing, but there's the Viper. This is a storage room. I keep like cornhole boards and the mainframe computer for everything in here, so uh, we don't really need to go into that. This wall, before I get to this thing again, is actually brick tile, and you'll see it around the corner too in a minute. But inside of this giant development we built called Mill One, we used this same exact tile. And I just thought the look was really cool. We were gonna incorporate some of these beams. It just came together so awesome. I'm so happy with it. So there's that. Uh, this is my air conditioning system. We have two five ton um, air conditioning units. I'll show you how we put those in upstairs. This is like my computer. I can control this from in here. I can control it from these things on the wall or I can control it from my phone. Um, but this will show you what the weather's doing. It's got all these menus, security, climate, lighting. Uh, this is actually really cool. You can actually go in here and you can change the entire vibe of the uh, barn, barn cave. My kids love to put different colors. My, my daughter will be like, I want pink, dad. So we throw pink in there. I want green. I want, you know, red or blue or red, whatever. So then you start to get that everything just kind of changes color here. Yeah, so pretty cool. That's the Lutron lighting system. And this itself is by Elon. Um, I've got security cameras all over this place. Um, everything's live feed, everything's recorded. Um, there's an alarm system, don't even think about it. I, uh, I have music in here so I can play this from my phone via Spotify or all these other apps or I can just do it um, from this system. Another cool thing about the lighting is this function. So you see how it looks like a picture of the blinds? Watch this. All the blinds are actually on the mainframe computer. So I can control up, down, uh, in sections, all up at once, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll just go ahead and leave them open. We're gonna skip out of there. Um, again, brick wall. I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys or kind of jumping around too much. Um, if any of you know my Camaro from uh, my Instagram, this was the original rendering of it. We made a couple changes along the way. This was a really cool kid that I met long, long time ago, did this for me out of Southern California. I have it framed it on my wall. Uh, this car, which I'm gonna do a video on later, my 67 was built as a tribute to the mill project that we did up there. So having this sign that says Mooresville, Lake Norman, and look at that, 1967, just like the year of my Camaro. I found this plate, I was like, that's perfect. And this little car is the actual paint sample that we used for picking the paint color. They sprayed a bunch of these out for me. I really liked the finish. You can see that gold and orange flying through there. It was a three-stage paint job. I just thought this was a cool artifact, so I stuck it here. Oh, watch this, we can put the shades back down. Oh, I don't know how to use this button. Never mind. we'll go upstairs. Uh, here we go, so again, this is that tree that we took down, we slabbed it, we left the live edges, and um, there's that. Here's our cool industrial rail. These colors are really throwing me off while I shoot this video. Uh, here we go, upstairs. Let's see if we can change, now this is pretty cool, this Elon system. By the way, there's my GT. You can actually come in here and turn the lights on and off. There we go. There we go. There's the light vibe. And it's immediate. Elon is just awesome. It's just an awesome system. So this whole garage was designed because I wanted to be able to work. By the way, here's a quick look at my office. Pretty neat. Um, in fact, let's put these shades down so we have a, bit, a little better lighting here. I apologize for all my 
ADD-like behavior. I actually have ADD, so this is, uh, you get to experience it. Um, so I designed this building as, I wanted my office to be upstairs and I wanted the ability to overlook my cars. Um, I worked very hard to get where I am. I uh, didn't have any money, didn't have any income when I started. Uh, wasn't handed anything from my parents financially. Uh, again, most loving parents in the world, but um, so this is kind of like me being able to see my accomplishments, live my dream through my cars. I love cars. And uh, so there you go. So I get to feature them. These things here that look like the little snork, what's it, snorks? What was that cartoon when we were kids? I don't know. Kind of has that look. These are where the air conditioning units are. I have not gotten my doors made yet for these on either side. But the intent of this was this was going to come out of this wall and go up over the top and there was going to be spiral ducts that would go the distance of the entire garage and then it would dump air out there to keep it efficiently heated and cooled. Well, number one, uh, those were all in back order during COVID. Number two, the price skyrocketed, but I'm so glad it did because I love this. I don't know why. It's weird looking, it's cool looking. Uh, I just love it. It's kind of like a periscope. It kind of gives this like industrial feel up here. And I also love that you get to really focus on this wood, uh, all the wood accents as you walk in, you don't see the ducks. So I'm really excited about it. Something I'll point out that you probably did or did not notice. Do you see all this uh, electrical piping here? Yeah, they did that all by hand. Uh, turned it all, it, it's all, like if you look in the corner over there, you'll see a bunch of it. There's so much of that throughout. And we had the, the greatest electricians come out here and do this. They were commercial guys and they just knocked it out of the park. And then my painters, who also stained all of this by hand on lifts, painted all that for me to be black so it kind of blends in. Um, what else I got up here? Oh, something really cool. This is an actual engine from an Audi R8. Someone in the UK actually punched right through. Look at this, see it there? And I've had this engine for years and years and years. I bought it off of a website called r8talk.com. It's a forum for R8 owners and someone had this listed and I knew one day I would be able to use it. So here it 